Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we got everything set up right here. Today is part one of making a dinosaur. <laughs> you are going to need a big piece of paper. You were also going to need a half a sheet of paper, but we're going to save this for a minute. I want you guys to have markers. If you have paint at home, you can use paint. If you don't have paint, Use markers in a plastic bag like us. Hopefully you have a brush at home. If you don't have a brush at all, you can always use your finger. Or you can use a Q-tip. You're gonna need a cup of water. And what's this down here? A cleaning mat. A cleaning mat. This is a paper towel. This is a blue paper towel. All right, so Rose, we are going to make a sky and grass and a volcano because dinosaurs lived a long time ago when there were lots Vol of volcanoes. Volcanoes. Let me, let me make you with water, okay? All right, we are gonna start off with the sun first. What color do we need for the sun? Yellow. Yellow, now look, we're gonna color it here. Dip your brush in the water. Squeeze a little bit of the water off. We can tap it. No, don't tap. Dip, squeeze. Take your brush, run it in the marker on the plastic bag. It's not going to be a super dark color. It's going to be a kind of a lighter color. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. If you have regular paints, you will get a nice regular color. What are we going to do with the yellow? We're going to paint the sun. The sun. I think mine is a little bit off camera. This was really hard set up. There's my circle for the sun. Now we are gonna do a little trick. Yes, if you want. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush or anything like that at all, you can always just use markers and color your paper the regular way we would do this. All right, are you ready to make some grass, Rosie? Yeah! What color green. do we need for grass? Green, we can, you can use light green or dark green. I'm gonna use both. Mommy, you can use both like me. Okay, let's wash our brushes from the yellow. I can be the yellow. Wipe it on our towel. Let's rub green on our plastic. Yay. All right, Rosie, you go ahead and grab all that green onto your brush. Rub it around. And start painting your grass on the bottom of your page, okay? I'm gonna do it again. Load up lots of marker on this, and then I'm gonna put my brush in it. I'm just gonna do it like flat. The grass is gonna be flat. I am get. doing little up strokes. It's hard for me to do up strokes. That's okay. You make your grass your way. Rose, now we're gonna make our volcano. <laughs> what color do we want for a volcano? Brown and the, yeah, I'm gonna draw lava out and of it and lava red inside under under the ground is magma. Magma, wow, those are some really good words. All right, the top brown is for you, the bottom brown is for me, and your volcano should be a triangle shape with a flat top. Thank you, look at that brown. It looks yeah, it's cool. a good brown. And we need some red for the what? Lava! For the lava. And All right, if you guys wanna change it up and start drawing with markers at this point, or if you wanted to put this on on a ready blue piece of paper, anything goes with a dinosaur project. But we are gonna rub blue all over this pa this plastic. That one's for me, and this one is for me. you. If we run out, what should we do? Paint more from the marker. Put more from the marker, all right. You ready? I'm gonna get this one. Oh, you take that one. Rosie is going to finish up her sky, and remember I said have two pieces of paper, and the second one I want you to cut in half. 
Whatever color you want your dinosaur to be, we are not drawing the dinosaur first. We are going to just paint this paper and then we're going to save this paper and next time we're going to learn how to draw a bunch of different kinds of dinosaurs. And then on this piece of paper we will cut out the dinosaur shape but we will do that next time. So on this piece of paper today, all I need you to do is pick two colors. You can sh make stripes, you can make polka dots, you could make it one solid color. Just paint this whole piece of paper and then we will decide what kind of dinosaur you wanna turn this into next time. I want to have a green and yellow dinosaur. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put my marker straight on the paper. So I put my yellow dots on my paper. I'm going to grab some water. Now I'm going to make these look more like little paint dots by just adding water directly on top of them. And then I'm going to go back in with some green and I'm going to let the green go on top of some of these yellow dots. This piece of paper can really be anything you want it to be. I'm gonna clean up a little bit of this so I have room to do my green. And, and Rosie is still working on her sky, I'm which done. is totally okay. You're done with your sky for now? Look at it. But I wanna do my dinosaur. Yes. All right, what colors? Do you want pink or blue or what? I want yellow. And? Green. Oh, just like me? All right. You want the yellow marker? Yes, please. Oh, I like how you said please. What I love about marker is sometimes the color is darker, sometimes it's lighter. And I painted my yellow first so that my yellows and my greens could mix together. Now next time, this is where we are going to draw our dinosaur. But for today, this is what I want you guys to make. I want you to get your sun, your grass, your volcano, some lava, the sky, and then whatever color you want your dinosaur to be next time. I'll tell our friends at home, happy, happy cravings and bye.